Hello and welcome to another episode of NIMBY Rails. Uh, Joe here. You find us sat just riding along with our uh, our northern service, the Manchester Airport to Preston line. It's Monday the 12th of April 2021. So we are kind of skipping ahead at quite a rate now. Um, yeah, things are going good. Let's have a look at the accounting tab. It's Monday after we've had or after we've deducted the just over £2 million of refunds, we are making £11 million. It's 8 o'clock at night just after. Over the weekend, £9.5 million on Sunday, £4.5 million on Saturday. That's just because demand is lower on a Saturday. No other reason. The Friday before, however, yeah, there was a lot of, uh, a lot of refunds and we bought some trams. But in terms of fares, just short of £18 million. Day before, thirteen and a half million. So, so things are going good. If we look on the individual lines, we've uh, let's have a look. Can, can we have today, please? Accounting, yep, today. TPEs made us one and a half million. Airport to Preston, two, just short of three million. Rochdale, five hundred thousand, six hundred thousand. The Metrolink, two million, one and a half, one point two, and one point five million. Which is showing that this big earner is the Manchester Airport to Preston line. Give it a round of applause, everybody. Way. Uh, which obviously means if we want to make more money, we need bigger regional lines. We've got 32 million to play with, which means bigger and regional lines are perhaps not going to be, uh, you know, it's not going to be a thing for us anytime soon. But we do have a third loan we can take, so maybe it will be within our interest to take a third loan and uh, and see what happens from there. Now I do apologize these videos are recorded I mean this is this is about five days before you know this is recorded five days before you will see it and after recording today I have got two more NIMBY Rails videos going out. Now I was obviously using Google Maps and I in those two videos I am also using Google Maps uh, and a lot of you have commented, so please, if you do comment, and I seem to just completely ignore what you say, and it's like, well, I told him to do this, and he's still using Google Maps, just go with it, because I've already recorded the videos. I know that uh, a lot of you have suggested using a website called Open Railway Map. That is what I am using now. Uh, it's a lot easier to see the railway lines, and a lot easier to build said railway lines. So uh, yeah, um, we're going to be doing that. So our line at the minute that makes us the most money goes up to Preston through Bolton and Chorley. It's a semi-fast stopper. It also then comes down to Manchester Airport. Now the airport's quite a busy little line. Uh, now what I thought we could do, I'm kind of looking at equal or equidistant lines that are quite a fast run. And I've decided that today we're going to be building the Arriva Trains Wales slash Transport for Wales as it is now. Uh, out through Manchester Airport, so we're going to have another line running from the airport. Down through Warrington Bank Quay, through Frodsham Helsby, and down to Chester this way. So, uh, I, I mean, I thought we've already got the airport to, uh, you know, to Oxford Road built. We just need to come in at uh, Oldsall Lane Junction. That's the one, yeah, uh, that, well, that's what I'm going with. Yeah, it's as good as, isn't it? Uh, Oddsall Lane Junction, uh, so yeah, we, we need to get doing that. So without further ado, let's crack on. No time like the present. Um, ooh, you see, you want this to be quite a high speed kind of a deal. Can we, uh, yeah, let, let's try building further down this way. I'm just going straight on. That's fine. Uh, the reason for that is obviously this this kind of line up to Salford Crescent branches off this Liverpool line. So uh, we, we don't want the Liverpool line to be branching off. What are you doing? You're just setting off like a, you know, like a stabbed rat. You've not put your stations in, you're not planning, dear in me. Well, let's work backwards. So down here we have the wonderful city of Chester. Is it a city? Oh, I think it is a city. Yeah, that's fine. So the station is about here. We'll go with... Uh, Ooh, let's have a think. We'll go with 250 metres. Honestly, I don't know if we need more than 250 metres, but we can always expand it later. You've then got lines that branch off up here and around here. Uh, this goes to Wales, this way goes to Liverpool. Just to, you know, th there's probably a bit more to it than that, but, uh, 
But as far as I'm concerned, for giving you a brief lowdown on what happens, uh, that is what happens. Now we will be going up to, I believe, Helsby is our first stop. So branching where uh, we're coming up here. There is another line that comes down here that goes to Crewe. Uh, but we're not going there today. No, sorry, we're, uh, we're not doing that. So first stop is Helsby. Uh, coming up here, we go through a lot of towns. It's kind of a, a branchy offy bit of station. And yes, that is a technical term. A branchy offy bit of station. 150 metres should suffice. It wins a lot of awards off the top of my head, does uh, does Helsby, for like Britain's best kept station, or maybe Cheshire's best kept station. I mean, what, what realistically has it got competition-wise? It's quite a cynical view, isn't it? Uh, next up on our travels, we have got Frodsham Station, which is uh, this, this lovely little town here. And... Uh, just having a look on the old map where to put the station. It's not. Uh, it's doing this kind of thing where it's not just leaping out at you. Ah, it's there. Right. Okay. So we've got the. We've got. Is that? Is that it? Is that the high high street? That looks like it, doesn't it? That's that's your prime kind of candidate for a station. Well, we shall bob you in there. There we go. 150 meters. Jolly nice. Thank you. What's next on our travels? So we seem to have some. Uh, you know, we kind of come up here, cross the this this bit of a river, and uh, where else do we have this? Is a, so we come up here. There looks to be a branch round to the left. I believe that that's kind of what we're seeing there. But we carry on up here under what looks like a motorway. A bit further on. Yep, yeah, a bit more up here. Ah, you, you see, you, you're a bit lost now, aren't you? Ah, here we go. So this is Runcorn East. 150 metres. Yeah, that'll do for me. Yeah, thank you. And uh, and then you come up to Warrington. There's, you kind of have a bit of a deal with the West Coast. You go over the top of the West Coast main line, which is this kind of left-hand side here, and then we come back in and join it just before Warrington Bank Key. Uh, now, where is that? That's kind of around here, isn't it? That's... Let's just, uh, sorry, I'm trying to use the uh, the old map on the iPhone, which uh, means that I'm doing a lot of scrolling, because if you're not zoomed in enough, it doesn't tell you where your stations are, which is, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a farce. We'll go over on this side. Again, I don't really know how long the station's meant to be, but we will go with 300 metres. That's quite long, isn't it? But obviously I need to account for the fact that Pendolinos, uh, the London services, do stop here. So, uh you know, it needs to be quite big. Coming up from Warrington Bank Key, we branch off to the left and pop out at this lovely little station here called Earlstown. I will uh, I will kind of go into this a bit more rather than just flying around the map when, uh, you know, when it comes to it. We don't need Earlstown to be that long because realistically, nothing of much importance stops there. You've, uh, I mean, the, the, the Wales ones do, to be fair. Uh, I don't know if... What are you doing? Ah, there we go. I don't know if all the Wales ones do. Can you have a train longer than the platform? I don't know. Is the uh, is the answer to that? Keep it as a... Uh, yeah, you, you want it to be the same station. There we go, so Earlstown. And then you've got Newton the Willows here. We'll have that as 150 metres. Jolly good, coming down uh, what is known as the Chat Moss Line. Keep going, keep going, keep going. We've got uh, we've got Patricroft now. That's kind of around here somewhere. And because uh, I'm quite, you know, I, I know this route a little bit better than some of the others. Um, I like to think I was quite good at where the stations are. So about Eccles, does Eccles go about there? It's where you're putting it. Yeah, let's uh, let's just double check that one on the map. To be honest with you, you've you've just boasted about how good you are at uh, at everything and at life. Yeah, Eccles goes about there. That's Eccles, and then you come down. There's no more stations. So let's go through and rename them. No. And uh, yeah, so this should hopefully give us a nice bit of uh, nice bit of coverage. So that's Patricroft. Nope. And we won't be stopping at either of those two, uh, on the basis of the Transport for Wales services do not. 
What have we got here? Newton Le Willows. It's quite nice for me as well. I, I didn't realise that like Earlstown seems actually closer to Newton Le Willows than Newton Le Willows is to Newton Le Willows. It's, it's a little bit odd. But you don't always get that kind of... You, you don't get to see, do you? So then we branch off down to here, which is Warrington Bank Key. Nope. You're desperate to put a W, aren't you? There you go, Warrington Bank Key. Where are you? You're uh, something east. Run Corn East. Smashing Frodsham and Ellsby. Frodsham there. And Ellsby. HLSBY. Thank you. And then Chester. Yeah, that's your next one. Not the live rooms. That sounds like a Weatherspoons. Chester. So as you can see, we're gonna we're gonna get a nice quick route, semi express, which is hopefully gonna make us uh, a nice nice bit of money. And we've got overnight to build it as well because it's nearly night time. So yeah, let's get this show on the road. What I also want to do, uh, there's a depot here. Where's the depot? The depot's kind of kind of here, isn't it? We're going to put the depot there. I know it's... Does the depot bend around that way? I don't know. But the depot's going to go here, because then for the Liverpool services, we can always come out past it, can't we? Uh, but that is where the 175s receive a lot of maintenance. The 175s need a lot of maintenance. They're, uh, you know, they're, they're nice to travel on. I've never had an issue with travelling on them. But uh, in terms of reliability, they are somewhat suspect there. Uh, I know that Transport for Wales have quite a few issues with them and I believe that First North Western had quite a few issues with them when they were brand new because yes the 175s as uh, as we covered in our Armstrong Powerhouse video but the other week uh, they you know, they were new to First North Western so yeah let's let's get building up through Piper's Ash which sadly is not good enough to, uh, to qualify for uh, a station on our route you're not going to get away without using a bite up there, right? You? Well, just bite the bullet. Go on. I mean, you, you're borrowing the money, essentially, to, to do this, because you're going to take a loan out, aren't you? Yes. Is the, is the short answer? Yes. I don't know where that goes. A bit of a branch off there. Where, where do you go? Ah, that's, that's where the northern line branches off, because there is a northern service from, uh, from Manchester to Chester that kind of comes through Northwich and all, all round here. Uh, there's not really a quick way to get to Chester from Manchester. It's, uh, it's a bit of a funny one, really. There we go, a bit of viaduct, back to normal track. Bit of viaduct, nope. That'll do. Don't forget, it's all right if you can't get to, so, I mean, these services can only do 100, really. So 160 kilometers an hour is about the equivalent of 100 miles an hour. So as long as we can keep above the 160 mark, have we, uh, we've, we've joined on it, didn't feel for a second like we had. Yeah, as long as we can keep above the 160 kilometre an hour mark, I'm happy with that. I know that uh, the passengers will probably be happier if we, uh, if we go even faster. But, uh, but you know, I'm, I'm not here to please the passengers, I'm here to make some money. You see, you should really let me over that. It's not very nice that you've not. There we go. Keep coming up. Ping it onto Helsby. All done. Yep, 171. That's fine. So now we're off on a grand voyage up to Frodsham, which is not that far away in the grand scheme of things. Everything's going to stop here. Just bite the bullet and have a bit of a sharper curve if it means uh, getting up to speed quicker. Is this line going to be particularly profitable? I'm hoping so. I honestly don't know if it's going to be profitable, but I, I'm surprised you let me have that, you know. I really am surprised you let me have that. Not particularly pretty, is it? But, uh, I, you know, it saves us some cash, so I'm happy with that. Can we, uh, yeah, you're not going to let me have over there, are you? Never mind. 
And you're certainly not going to let me have over this river. There we go. And, oh, for goodness sake, another river. There we go. And round. Now, I feel that we disappear into a tunnel here. Uh, so, let's just do that. Can we... Oh, no, that's five. That's that's the wrong hotkey. I think this is a tunnel uh, on the basis of, and I, sh I shall tell you why, because the railway just, you know, the kind of mark on the land just disappears. Just disappears altogether. Uh, so that's why I believe that this is a tunnel. I'm happy to be corrected if that's not the case, but uh, we're, we're going to tunnel. Costs us an arm and a leg to do so, but I feel like that's quite a substantial tunnel, which people would be upset if we missed out. So uh, that is why we've tunnelled. Uh, where are we going now? Straight up. We've also, I know we've got a depot in Manchester, which we are going to utilise. Ah, hang on. Oh yeah, that's the West Coast main line we've just crossed. We are going to utilise our depot in Manchester. Uh, for obvious reasons, we've got a depot there, so why not utilise it? Yeah, that's the reason. But we're also going to... Because Chester to Manchester is quite a long way, isn't it? So in a morning, we can have two services. You know, we can have them starting at one end and the other at the same time, which is good. Oh, give me a viaduct. Come on. I don't want a viaduct, but you're not going to be happy, are you? Bend you round and straight in. Awesome. Still above 160, so we can get some nice speed up there into Warrington Bank Key. And uh, that bit there, I believe, yep, yeah, that's the bit where... So we will actually be building over the line here. That's the Warrington Central Liverpool line. Uh, but we're not quite there yet. In order to actually start making some good money... We need more regional lines, and I feel that this is an acceptable regional line. And I am confident uh, that money shall be made. Alternatively, this could completely backfire and bankrupt us. But that is uh, always the case in any sort of venture you do. Yep, straight up there. Jolly good. Bring you round... So that's where the West Coast Main Line leaves us. That continues up and actually goes under. We're about to go back over it. That carries on up to Preston. So we can actually link the two, if we wanted to, through Wigan. Uh, which will happen eventually, don't you worry. Uh, as Swedish House Mafia once sang. No. This is kind of the, the main bit of the line. I would prefer you to, to kind of do that. It's not going to be fast. In the slightest. Ooh, dear me, that's that's ugly. And I, I don't want that because that's horrific. Um, oh, dear me, this is just dreadful. Well, you could do that. Could do that. That's better. I, I can, you know, I will be able to sleep tonight with that. I just, it's still not brilliant, but it's better than uh, the alternative. Now, this is going to be our main line. It joins the main line here, the Chat Moss line. So we'll put that in first. Pop you in. And, uh, and just nicely link up. That's, why do you have to do that? Twenty-four. Not on your Nelly. No. Just, you know, just, just be nice. That's better. We, we might get a smoother curve there. Or we might not. 35. It'll have to be 35 kilometres an hour purely because I'm losing the will to live with it. That's not correct. Off you go. Build up and along to Newton the Willows. Relatively short distance, isn't it, to, uh, between the two? Yep, jolly good. Bring you up and along. What this is also going to mean is uh, we're going to drop some stations off our northern service. What do you mean by that? Well, uh, you know, between Piccadilly and the airport, our northern service stops at every stop, and they all whinge that it takes a long time. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to put some of the stops onto this. 
still don't get what I mean? I'll explain it uh, in more detail in just a minute once I've finished uh, making people miserable by building a train line next to their house. Come on, down you come. We actually joined, this is, uh, this is, is it a motorway? I don't know, it's it's a dual carriageway, which probably calls itself a motorway, uh, that comes off the, the ring road there. Straight into Manchester. And we just, uh, we go alongside it. It's quite nice if you come along on a, you know, an early morning service. Doesn't happen so much anymore with lockdown, but when we used to do the 0654 off Liverpool, used to come whizzing along and all you would see is just cars queuing to get into Manchester. Just jammed completely, traffic jam. Uh, you know, and it was quite nice to go whizzing past on the train. You were like, ha, I'm better than you. <laughs> but like I say, since lockdown and people aren't commuting, it's uh, it's not that quick. Uh, there's not that many jams anymore. So yeah, it's going to go to the airport, which is down here, which is weird, given the distance between Chester and Manchester Airport isn't actually that much. The kind of palaver you have to go into Manchester, round, back, down and on, uh, is, is you know, it seems a bit of a farce, doesn't it, to have to go all the way around there. Once upon a time, this Altrincham Railway, uh, straight out of Manchester, or the, the tram, was a railway. And I can't help but think that Manchester to Chester would have been uh, a damn sight quicker if they'd have left that in, but they uh, they didn't. They put the Metrolink in, didn't they? Right, so enough of that. We need some trains. No, you don't. You need to borrow some money. No, nope, that's mods. The loan one of three, yet we earn a frightening amount of money. We owe a frightening amount of money on that as well. Let's have 600,000 over lots of years, please, because we can't afford to pay it back any quicker. Do you know what? Let's just have a billion. And I say that because if if we go over, we can we can just pay this loan back instead. That's fine. Oh, that's a lot of money. The power I have. Whoa. Right, build that. That line's built. We can't change our mind now. Okay. Right. So, what lines have we got? Yep, that's all fine. New line. Yes. Thank you. Right. So, Manchester Airport. No, you, you're doing that wrong. There we go. Stops. We want this kind of Arriva colour. I know it's Transport for Wales. I can't tell you how much I know it's Transport for Wales. We're going to have the same, uh, the same pricing. Because it works. You know. We're going to use Arriva Wales. Just because it stands out as, you know, it's different, isn't it? Uh, Manchester, oh no, MIA. It's just CHE. Off the top of my head, I don't know, but if it's not, I shall go back and change it. We shall call it on that on the code so that we can see from a distance what train it is. And uh, yeah, get adding some stops. Airport. Uh, this will stop at East Didsbury and it will stop at Burnage. There we go. Uh, I know that the, uh, the Arriva Wales do tend to stop or the transport for Wales services even, tend to stop at East Didsbury anyway. Uh, a lot of them do. Some of them don't, depending on time of day. But that way we can keep it relatively authentic. So Piccadilly Oxford Road, straight down to Newton the Willows, that's your next stop. Then round into Earlstown, down to Warrington Bank Quay. And along, uh, where are we now? Runcorn East. Frodsham and Helsby. Let's just get and knock you down a peg. Chester. Awesome. And then uh, and back up the line. Helsby, Frodsham. Runcorn East. Straight up to Warrington. Very nice. Quite a, quite a poor catchment area on Warrington. I, I did kind of expect it to be more, but never mind. Earlstown, Newton the Willows. And miss those two into, not Deansgate, Oxford Road, Piccadilly, Burnage, and East Didsbury. And of course down to the airport. Now what we're going to do on our airport to Preston line, that's every 10 minutes isn't it? Oh yes, okie dokie. How's that going to work then? 
That'll be fine, I think. The problem is, is I don't really want the airport service waiting 10 minutes at the airport, or the northern service waiting 10 minutes at the airport, because if our, our Arriva, the Chester service, gets stuck behind it, that's then going to be delayed. Ooh, yes, that is a good point, isn't it? It is. Um, right, anyway, never mind. We shall delete East Didsbury and burnage off that. The reason I am uh, I'm doing that it's like, well, what happens if you want to go from Burnage to Moldith Road? The fact of the matter is that if, you know, from looking at this northern service and seeing it's kind of what, how many people it takes where, people just don't travel that distance. I mean, if we click on Moldith Road, they'll all be one in Burnage, won't they? Uh, there you go. Nah, none of them. They want Hill Green, but in reality, you can just walk. Just In real life, you can walk that. There's about eight buses a second down that section of road, so nah, not getting on the train. Half of them can't even pay anyway because the ticket machine's out of order and the conductor can't get down the train quick enough. You know, it's it's just a palaver, this line. There's too many stops in uh, too quick a succession. So, uh, hang on, what's happening? Are, they, are, are all the trams? Yeah, the trams are moving. It looks like they're stopped. Yes, yeah, so we've got our line. We've taken that off. Let's just click travel times and we'll just re-estimate you because you can go quicker now. Uh, Manchester Airport to Chester. I reckon, uh, hang on, 160, estimate the times. Now we're going to use the same trains that we use for Transpennine. I reckon if we, yeah, if we estimate to do 220 kilometres an hour... It's quicker than they'd obviously go in real life. They, they just wouldn't go that quick. Minimum interval at the airport. Ooh. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with that one. Uh, let's just pop the minimum. You know, we're going to have it every 15 minutes. I think that that's a, an acceptable amount of time. And you've uh, when you would type in, you've lost it again. Chester, 15 minutes, please. Airport. Do you know what? The, the best plan of action, you've got the money to do it, just build two more platforms at the airport. Just like that. Just just build another two platforms. It, uh, it, it doesn't actually happen like that in real life, just so you, you're aware. Where you clock off, finish work, come back the next day, and there's another two platforms. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, there's, uh, it takes a lot more time and effort and planning to uh, to do that. How far can we actually push them together without them whinging that, that they're too close together? Ah, we, we can. That's nice, isn't it? Well, let's get that done then. Yeah, that, they're quite close together. But like I say, it doesn't matter. Uh, I have actually been corrected. This, this bridge over the top of us does exist and... Uh, I, I saw that, and it does exist, yeah, so, uh, oh, for crying out loud. Move you away then, yes, if you're going to be upset. Yes, it's far away now, don't worry, the, the nasty bit of track's not going to hurt you. Build the blueprints, and uh, we'll, we'll shove the northern service on these platforms, actually. Uh, airport Preston, yes. Cross you off. Yep. Delete. And then we'll just add you back in. Uh, there. They can't all have an individual platform. They just can't. But for now, it works. So you need to wait to be there 10 minutes. And the Arriva needs to be every 15 minutes at the airport. Where's the airport? It's the first one you went to, isn't it? So 15 on zero zero that's fine like I say I never bother with doing the, the kind of the intervals at the intermediate stations because I find that they just end up blocking for other lines that might share that track they do it's not on it's not on at all I completely agree with you uh, now trains what are we gonna do in terms of trains <laughs> this is you know this is a lot more complicated than what you thought lines Arriva Estimate the travel times. How long is it going to take? An hour and a half to do a round trip. So that's four trains an hour. Uh, and then 
six trends. So we need six trends on that. Is that what you're saying to me? I think that is what you're saying to me. Yeah, it is. Six trends. Let's do it. Uh, purchase new trends. We're going to use the sepia. Six trends. Base colour will be the kind of a reverie, a reaver kind of a, a deal that we got going on there. It's just going to be a four car unit. Maximum passengers 280. Is that a good idea? Because 280 is not a lot of people. Yeah, you've decided you're going with this, you like this, and you can always shove more trends on if needs be. We don't want you to use that line colour, because the, the decal colour is awful. It's truly horrendous. Um, that'll do. Yeah, that'll do. And uh, and we'll, we'll kind of go for a, a kind of cream... That's very a reaver, isn't it? There we go. It's Oh, it's almost like the ghost livery that they had on their 175 units. There we go. Purchase six of them before you can change your mind. I like that. It looks quite snazzy, doesn't it? We're, uh, we're partial to looking snazzy. Uh, so, you are going to be stored in the depot. You're going to be stored there. Are you? Yeah, you are. I think. Right, so it takes it takes 45 minutes, and if it takes an hour and a half to do the full round trip, it's going to take 45 minutes to get from one end to the other. So, we're going to have four units coming out of here. No, three out of here, three out of the other one. That's fine. Oh, it's complicated, isn't it, to try and... Uh, so the depot is the city of Chester. That's good. And we will start you off at 5 a.m.? 5 a.m. is a good time, isn't it? 5 a.m. is a very good time. There we go, 5 a.m. Uh, we want you to run a line, please, the Arriva Wales Airport to Chester. Your first stop, however, will be Chester. There we go, Chester. Because you come out of Chester Depot, first stop is Chester. Uh, and then we would like to copy you, please, for tomorrow. Awesome. Copy you, delete, all week, 5 a.m. That's fine. Next train. Paste. Yep, 5am, but we'll change you to 5.15, because trains are every 15 minutes. Paste, 5.15, and paste, 5.30. Nice and straightforward. You do really get into a, a kind of a... What's happened there? There we go, paste all. You get into a rhythm with it, really. Then the last three trains are going to begin out of here. Now, obviously, that wouldn't happen in real life. It wouldn't. But it's going to happen because we can. You know, this is our network and we can make whatever we want happen. Yeah. So, 5 a.m. Uh, so, it's, it's that depot. New bit of timing. 5 or 4.50. 4.55. No, 5 a.m. That's fine. It's what we want. Run a line, uh, Arriva Wales. Yep, yeah, but your first stop will be uh, Piccadilly. Piccadilly, there we go, and you're going to head towards Chester. Yes, yes, you are. You're going to head towards Chester, and uh, right, copy you, paste you the next day, 5 a.m. Jolly good. Paste, 5am. Now, the next one isn't going to start then go to Chester. It is going to, you see, I've, I've, it's almost like I've put some thought into this. Uh, we don't want you to run a line. We want you to be stored in the depot. Store you in long sight. Uh, your first move will be at 5.05. 5 5.05. 5 5 and uh, you will run a line, a reaver. But not from Piccadilly going towards Chester. You'll be Piccadilly going towards the airport. So you'll kind of come in, do a turny roundy sort of a deal, and then whiz off down to the airport at top notch. Breakneck speed. Yeah, paste all week. That's not worked. Right. Paste. Well, why are you... No, you see, I, I, I want you to be stored in the depot. We've, we've covered this. Be in the depot. 
and for some reason it's now coming out in the middle of the night. No, 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 no. Why are you, why are you doing that? There we go. So copy all day, paste it all week. Jolly good. Go back to your depot. Thank you. And then we're going to paste that. Except you're going to come out at 520. Paste all week. Awesome. That's that. Right, let's let's get it speeded up because uh, speeded up, sped up. We shall accelerate the time because I actually, before I leave you today, I know we're, we're coming up to the uh, what we we blown the thirty minute marker to uh, to smithereens. I normally can try and keep these around thirty minutes, but yeah, we we've smashed it to pieces today. Uh, but yeah, I actually do want to see some trains running. So, uh, does anybody have anything of interest to kind of talk about whilst we're waiting for uh, the timer to uh, to get to five a.m.? Nope. Oh well, that's uh, that's a shame. That's uh, yeah, that's. Uh, I, I have also we've sort of solved the Cornbrook issue because uh, Cornbrook can fit eight hundred passengers in. There was eight and a half thousand waiting there the other day, uh, and all of them wanted to go to the Trafford Centre. So we've we've diddled about with the trams and the timetables, and I seem to have got that under control. The Berry Line again seems to be under control. Is there anybody actually wanting to go to Chester yet? No, nobody wants to use our new train. Ah, hang on. Before this happens, before time happens, let's have a look. How long does it take Piccadilly to Oxford Road? Uh, 32 seconds. And then Oxford Road to Piccadilly, 32 seconds. What about Northern on the airport to Preston? Uh, Oxford Road to Piccadilly. You're going 32 seconds as well because I am not having... Uh, hang on, pick it up. Fifty-one seconds. Right. Well, we're going to change that to fifty-one seconds as well because it seems to be the case of that they'll just get on the fastest train. So what we will have here is them getting off at Piccadilly of the Arriva, waiting for the Northern to then get on it to Oxford Road, to then wait for the Arriva fifteen minutes behind at Oxford Road going down this way, and then they'll all moan that it's taken them ages. Well, I'm not being funny. You were on a direct train. And you've made the call to get off it to go on a different train. So stop whinging because you're now on the train 15 minutes behind. It took an extra 15 minutes because of your own incompetence. There's no more to say on the matter. Uh, I mean, this, this map is looking a lot better, isn't it? It's kind of spidering out now. We need to kind of head either, either down here to Stoke-on-Trent or across to Yorkshire. I'm, I'm really excited to go across to Yorkshire. It's, it's my home home county. You know, it is God's own county. Uh, pff, how dare you disagree? You probably might not have disagreed. It is. Just just accept what this person you don't know on YouTube is telling you. It's God's own county. Uh, but yeah, we, we you know we're down to the southwest, up to the northwest. We could do the northeast and the southeast, maybe over to Sheffield. That'd be a nice one, wouldn't it? Get a bit of Transpennine action, northern stopping action. That would be very nice indeed. So 4 a.m. the uh, the Northerns are going to all start happening. Oh, is it 4:30? When's the first airport train? I am a little bit apprehensive that the Northern services whizzing out the depot are going to interfere with our Arriva services. Yeah, little bit apprehensive, but fingers crossed. We can cross our fingers and toes. Oh, there we go. You see, there's a bit of Northern action there. No, that's coming out of Newton Heath, so that's fine. Transpennine, off we go. It kind of does this, you know, because it can't get over to the, these running lines. It does this little kind of shunty thing where it goes into Manchester, back out to Ardwick, and then back in again. I should really just build the depot at Ardwick. It would make things a lot easier. Uh, ooh, 5am, let's flick down to Chester. Any minute now. Exciting. Ah, there we go. Airport to Chester is here. 280 passengers not on board, but the capacity is 280. So 18 passengers currently on board. That's a good amount. Let's, uh, let's see. You, uh, are you coming out down here? Ah, one has come out of the depot. That's the 5am going off to Chester there. And Northern's just crashed into the back of it. How rude. You can just, you can queue, Northern. There we go. Thank you. Just queue up. Be patient. Wait your time. The airport to Chester service just going off there at the depot, but that's going to airport. 
So that's all good. We're up at uh, 220 kilometres an hour now, blasting through the countryside. To stop at Hellsby. Not many waiting at Hellsby. You know, I'd, I'd like more, but they're all happy, which is uh, it's, it's a little bit weird, isn't it, for our uh, our services, for them all to be happy. We'll just uh, we'll get the the super speed on. 71 out of 280, that's good. I mean, it is a Tuesday and it's peak time. Quite a lot com uh, computing, commuting into Warrington. And, uh, yeah, straight down into Manchester now. There's a lot of very happy people. The airport, they're kind of, like, neutral. They're not happy, they're not unhappy. Uh, I would be unhappy if I'd paid £134.24 uh, to, to go from Chester to the airport. Yeah, if you're watching and you moan about your rail fares, you really don't know how good you've got it compared to this network. Oh, dear me. And that seems to, I mean, we've crossed with that service as that service is just leaving the airport. We seem to have done quite well there in terms of timing it. I promise I've not tried this. Uh, but yeah, you know, I've not kind of set it all up before. I, I did kind of build the route in and see how, you know, how it was, if we had enough money, how much it was going to cost. But I can hand on heart honestly say I did not, uh, I did not, test out the timing but it seems seems to work so uh, yeah let's find that train where are we now we're, we're whizzing down to Moldith Road stuck behind a northern that that's just part and parcel of this route but there we go where do you think we should build next let me know in the comments um that's actually a stupid thing to say because I, I spent earlier on rabbiting about how it's recorded a couple of days in advance so uh, it won't be where we build next but where do you want to see built what routes do you want to see built it will be focusing around the Manchester area, like I say, for the time being. But let me know where you want to, you know, where where should we go? What services should we put in? I'm, I'm looking at maybe going over to Liverpool kind of soon, because we built halfway there anyway. So maybe we'll put Liverpool in. I don't know. Make sure that you click like on the video and subscribe so that you don't miss out on, uh, on what's happening next. Until next time, cheerio and uh, goodbye for now.